Hi, my name is Ellen and I'm a library assistant here at the East Berry Branch Library. I hope you guys are ready because it's time for another Think Outside the Box challenge. So let's grab our drawing supplies and get started. This is not a number three. Hmm, well if it's not a number three, I wonder what it is. Let's look at some different angles to get some ideas. All right, let's get a clean sheet of paper and see if we can figure out what this is. And here we have our number three. Let's look at some different angles, see if we can figure out what it is. So if we turn it, hmm, maybe it could be a bird flying in the sky. Maybe an insect crawling on the ground or a big pair of lips. Hmm. Or perhaps it could be some berries growing on a tree or a mountain or a rock. Hmm, it's hard to figure out what it is. You know, if I turn it this way, I'm getting some ideas of what I think this might be. All right, let's start drawing. So first we'll start with our number three that we turned. First, I'm gonna add some teeth and a little nose. Let's start with a circle for the head. We got some eyes. Can you guys tell what I'm drawing yet? Let's add on some big floppy ears. Have you guys ever seen this animal before? Do you know what it is? Maybe you have one as a pet? Give it a big round body. Give it some little arms and a round belly. Have you guys figured it out yet? Let's add some big, strong feet and legs. This animal is really good at jumping and running. I think you guys have probably figured it out by now. We're going to add on a fluffy tail. And I think you guys can tell what it is now. It's a bunny. It's a cute little bunny. Let's add some grass for our little bunny. I think I'm gonna put the bunny in a carrot field. So let's add some carrots because you, we all know bunnies love to eat carrots. So I'm gonna add lots of carrots for the bunny to eat. Have any of you guys ever seen a bunny outside or have a bunny as a pet? My parents have a pet bunny. It's a black bunny they named Bun Buns and she is really cute. Rabbits and bunnies actually make really good pets. 
All right, let's color our bunny. And while I'm coloring, I'm going to show you with you guys some interesting facts about bunnies that I found on the National Geographic website. So a baby rabbit is called a kit, and a female is called a doe, and a male is called a buck. Rabbits are really social creatures that live in groups. They live in warrens, which is a series of tunnels and rooms that they dig underground. A rabbit's teeth never stops growing. Instead, they're gradually worn down as a rabbit chews on grasses, wildflowers, and vegetables, meaning they never get too long. Rabbits perform an athletic leap known as a binky. When they're happy, performing twists and kicks in midair. Rabbits' eyes are actually on the sides of their head, meaning they can see almost all the way around them. This helps them to keep a close watch for predators while they're going about their business. Like cats, rabbits purr when they're content, relaxed, and happy. And rabbits are amazing ama rabbits are amazing athletes they can jump as high as 90 centimeters in one leap and a rabbit's best feature is their really long ears these ears can grow up to 10 centimeters in length rabbits can turn their ears by 180 degrees keeping careful listen out for predators one of the world's best known rabbits is the Warner Bros. cartoon character Bugs Bunny, who's often seen munching on a carrot. In fact, carrots aren't a natural part of a rabbit's diet and can actually give bunnies an upset stomach if they eat too many. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to put our bunny in a field of carrots, but this is a cute little cartoon bunny. So I think it'll be okay just this one time to give our rabbit a few carrots. Rabbits are really effective baby makers. So mother rabbits are pregnant for between 28 to 31 days. They can give birth to up to 14 baby rabbits called kittens in a single litter. All right, I think we're done with our bunny. So this is not a number three. This is a blue bunny. Thank you so much for joining me for another Think Outside the Box Challenge. I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next week. Bye.